G'day, and welcome to another episode of Sam Sutton Cook. Well, I mentioned at the end of the last episode that I'd be heading up into the Highlands for this one, which is exactly where I'm going. I didn't have much sleep last night. I've been pretty excited about this one. I've got four days and three nights up here and some cracking good weather on the way. I'm meeting a buddy up the road, uh, so I'll grab him and um, we'll head in. Hopefully we'll see some good deer. See what happens. Some more like definitely not first leaves by Oh, well, here we are at the end of the first day. Uh, no deer seen, but found plenty of sign. Um, some good wallows. Well, they were good. They used. <laughs> Not fresh enough. Um, but that's all good. Sitting down now with the feed. Got the fire going. Bush TV. And uh, the dinner I'm snacking on the nut butter chicken from off grid and I've tipped some good rice in there as well so that'll fill the belly up good 
hopefully tomorrow, see some deer. It is six o'clock in the morning of day two. Uh, we're just packing up camp. We've got to send it up the hill uh, and contour about a kilometre and a bit for our morning hunt. Um, so, just going to pack everything up in the bag, make a cuppa, send her up, catch up with you after. Okay, just a bit of an update on uh, how we've gone so far, um, day two. Uh, got up just as the sun was rising, packed up camp and punched our way about 500 metres along this each, <clears throat> east face from camp. Um, just pulled up now for a bit of a cuppa and a feed. We just had a bit of a glassing session uh, just off a, a spur, just off the end here. Um, it gave us um, a good view of this fold just up behind me and uh, to my right. Uh, to no avail though, no deer was seen on the face. Beautiful morning though, great conditions, perfect wind, just not around. So we're going to uh, keep heading south along this face and um, check out a couple more feeder gullies and if she's no good we're going to pop over the other side into a whole new system for uh, the afternoon. But, uh, see what happens, catch us after. <laughs> bit more of an update. We've come across the east face uh, from where we were glass and about a kilometre and we've come up in elevation 200 metres. Found some uh, some good old well used game trails but stag droppings are pretty old so we're gonna backtrack a bit, swap around to the um the other system, see how we go.
just a bit of an update on how we've gone today. Uh, it hasn't been really eventful. Uh, we found a couple of spots with some good sign, but it looks like it's just been places in saddles where deer have sort of come through the saddle and then they've headed deep down into the gully system. Uh, the weather's been fantastic, the wind's been good. You can't ask for better conditions, but um, so far today we've probably put in about 6Ks. We've definitely um, glassed and checked out a lot of countryside, um, but nothing much yet. So I'm going to spend my afternoon uh, just in a, a high gully, just doing some glassing. I'll probably glass the same gully in the morning. Um, then we're going to make our way right out of this system, start heading out tomorrow afternoon camp high up so we're close to the cars for an early get out the next day so um yeah bit of a shame i'm not really looking for a deer so much for me it's more the fella that's with me um yeah great fella great to have along for a hunt it's a lot backpacking experience too he's sort of helped me out a lot uh, yeah unfortunately nothing yet so hopefully we come up with something for him tomorrow i'll be super stoked all right, let's go see how we go. Catch us. been glassing about an hour and a half. Just these faces down in here. So we've got a, a couple of feeder gullies that come off. You can see right up into them. <sighs> Nothing. It's kind of odd, nearly eerie. Like it's that quiet. Barely any bird life here. It's not even cold. I'm a bit overdressed sitting here in the sun. It's alright, it's just how it goes. Would love to see something though, just get something on camera for you, but it doesn't always work out the way you want. That's all good. I'll have a cuppa and I'll wait around. I've got about an hour of sunlight left, so I'll catch up with you around the campfire. that sun gets behind that hill, nothing better. Cheers. Well, that about does me for the salvo. Um, nothing came out. That's all good. After I had a, a glass for a bit, I went and sussed out a really nice spot for in the morning. It's a east facing gully, so there's a northern side on it. Looks really nice, so. Hopefully we might get something pop out on that in the morning. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens.
he's good. He's real good. He's walking straight for us. Just if he had to start filming, we just missed your shot. He was about to walk my career again. Oh, was he? Yeah. Morning of day three. Uh, we got up 5.30, packed up camp. Kept heading west into another, another system. We come across a stag and a spiker. Um, just missed the shot. Like I was about three seconds of getting the shot on the good camera. But um, the stag was about to walk around behind a tree. So we've just gone up to where um, police taking the shot at the stag. And, uh, we're gonna track him from here, see if we can find him. Not bad. Well done, mate. <laughs> awesome. Oh, he's got little inners. Ripper. Tiny. Tiny inners. Hey, he's good. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, that's a perfect result, isn't it? Well done. What a shot. You make it far. So 3006 with cowboy rounds. And what, 50, 60 meters? Where his placement is. Would have been better if this fella got the shot on video, but oh well, just trying to be quiet. Stoked anyway, how good. <laughs> Rightio mate, great result. Uh, yeah. You want to just sort of talk us through how uh, the morning went and the stalk went leading up to it? Yeah, well. We were going to go glass and just over the hill, and it's pretty easy, only about 200 metres down from where we were camping. Started walking up the east face to cross over to where we were going to glass for the morning, and yeah, two of them just feeding on in the grass. It was, yeah, it was easy. It was meant to be. It doesn't normally go that easy. It was good. It was good. It was good for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well worth the, uh, all the work we put in. Probably done about 15 k's over the last uh, two days, including this morning. Everywhere we seemed to walk, it was just old beds, old, old shit. It was weird, you know. It's, it was the same as this hill. It was the same as everywhere else we've looked. It just, I don't know. Yeah, just lucky, I suppose. It was good. Real good. River. Heavy pack outs. <laughs> Yeah, heavy pack outs, happy faces. Yeah, that's right. All worth it. Yeah, that's actually not a bad motto. <laughs> <laughs> well, my 
Lane was pretty sick looking last time I packed out, but yeah. oh well. Riffa, congr congratulations, mate. Yeah. Great work. There he is. Did his job nicely. So how many grain is that? It's a 180 grain. Out of the 306? Seiko, um, hammerheads, yeah. So yeah good, good bullet, do the job. Definitely works well. absolutely amazing. We're going to pack up now and make our way out. You know what? As much as I would have loved to shoot a stag, as much as I would have loved to shoot a stag, I'm glad it's not me carrying out this time. <laughs> Almost back at the car. She's a tough slog up this last hill. I tell you what. Fantastic ending to a few days hunting up in the high country. It looked pretty bleak the first couple of days with minimal sign and no deer seen. So last night around the campfire we decided that we'd head over west a bit further into another system. And uh, just like magic on our way there this morning we came across an area where all the pieces just fell together and we were able to put a hunt on a nice stag. I'm absolutely stoked for my mate. The whole idea was to get in there and get him a high country samba, which is what we did. And I just had an absolute ball of a time while I was in there. To be honest, I'm flogged. I'm absolutely tired. We did over around oh, 20, about, about 25 k's <clears throat> over the last couple of days. Um, in just steep country. A um, couple of rough nights sleep, but this morning's, this morning's hunt just makes it all that much sweeter. So uh, thanks again for joining me on this one. Um, not sure what I'm going to be up to next. I'm going to try and get uh, some actual cooking videos up on the uh, on the page for you guys. So I'll see what I can do. Thanks again. Catches.